Since Russia's attack on Ukraine, Taiwan has made global headlines with scholars debating whether the war would embolden China to attack. On Thursday, top Taiwan officials took questions from lawmakers about national security. Foreign Minister Joseph Wu said China would pay a heavy price if it misjudged the situation and launched an attack. If the Chinese government misjudges the situation and arbitrarily takes military action against Taiwan, it will certainly pay a heavy price. Foreign Minister Joseph Wu blasted Beijing, warning it to not act rashly. The defense minister was more measured in his remarks. Once fighting erupts, to be honest, everyone involved will suffer. Even the victor will have achieved victory at a great cost. And of course, as for the loser, this matter is something that truly must be considered more. He said the defense ministry would not run away from a war, but that a war would benefit neither the victor nor the loser. He also noted that Ukraine was holding its own against a much larger enemy force, with tactics that could prove useful to Taiwan. Our military is referencing how Ukraine took the characteristics of the domestic battlefield and its experience with cognitive warfare, incorporating them as a rung of its asymmetric warfare. Ukraine established the concept of everywhere is a battlefield, implementing the practice of training at all times. The CCP intends to take advantage of the Russia-Ukraine war to continue to exert political and economic pressure, military coercion and united front infiltration upon Taiwan. In coordination with the whole national security team, we are monitoring the war's impact on our security as well as the CCP's current military activities. We are collecting early warning intelligence on its infiltration and cognitive warfare operations. Following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Taiwan's national security units are on high alert as they monitor China's every move.